everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's a nice simple Easter dot cure with a nail vinyl bunny. If you could just do me a huge favor though before we get started and that's go down and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already as well as hit post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much and now let's get started. So I'm just going to start off with a coat of my favorite base coat, and that is Anchor by Zoya. I know I don't need a base coat on my gel nails, but I just think it leaves a much smoother surface. For this many, I'm going to be using some great spring colors. Uh, three of them are from China Glaze, Bar Hopping, Peachy Keen, and Highlight of My Summer. And then one from Spa Ritual, which is called Sublime. And I will be putting two coats on my nails. And as you can see, I did do my nails each a different color other than my thumb and ring finger, which are the same. And I did do my right hand off camera. As always, I will list all the products used in the description box. So now before I put on the bunny nail vinyl on my ring finger, I am going to throw on just a quick coat of a quick dry top coat before we get started. So I'm just going to grab one of the smaller bunny stencils from the nail vinyl sheet and you can use the stencil or you can use the sticker that's left behind. You can either leave it on your nail or use it to just make the background a different color, but this time I'm actually going to use the bunny stencil and I'm just going to place it on my nail as centered as possible using my fingers and then press it down using my silicone tool. I also use my fingers to press it down. Um, I just have trouble trying to place it on my nail with my tweezers. I'm just not that coordinated. You do want to make sure that you do stick it down quite firmly though, otherwise the polish will bleed underneath. Now that the nail vinyl is firmly on my finger, I'm going to grab my White on White by China Glaze and paint in that little bunny. So once you're done painting in your design of your nail vinyl, you need to make sure that you carefully pull off the nail vinyl or stencil before your polish dries. So now it's time for the Dotta Cure portion and all I'm going to do is use my wonderful Clear Jelly Stamper silicone mat and just place some blots of polish on it, one polish at a time because I don't want them to dry out before I'm finished and you just put down as much as you need. You can start off small and then I'm just going to dip my dotting tool in that and then just start dotting on my nails just randomly. This one I decided to do quite random 
and if I find that it's not dark enough I can always add more polish to the dot. If I find that when I dot I'm getting a space then I know it's time to put more polish on my silicone mat. Now you can either use a tile or a yogurt lid or anything like that. I just happen to have this wonderful silicone mat. Um, you know there's lots of nail art mats out there. I just happen to really like this one. It's pretty and has dragonflies and this way I can just clean the polish right off the mat. I don't need to use anything else and um, it works really well for me. And as you can see there, I do need to put a little more polish on my mat as I go along. But you just continue doing this until you're happy. So now that my daughter cure is all dry, I'm going to seal in my design with a coat of quick dry top coat and I'm using sesh feet. So I think my Easter daughter care turned out just great and it was such a fun and easy mani to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, if you could please go down and hit that like button as well as hit subscribe and post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.